Hey Taurus Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, this is a collective reading. So take... <laughs> collective this is a general reading for the taurus collective take what resonates leave what doesn't flip the rose if you need to could be past present future energy or someone else around you i am picking up on um hmm. i'm gonna have to look at these cards we have short we have show wow a lot of s's the letter s could be significant somebody's initial we have sincere we have fear of the unknown we have identity theft and you've come so far. Be proud of yourself. I know somebody's dealing with identity theft. This also could be you robbing yourself of something because you have a fear of the unknown. I feel like there's some kind of connection that's coming through in this reading. It was short lived. It feels. Um, although I feel like the feelings were definitely sincere. And I'm going to tell you all why in a minute. But somebody could have had a problem showing how they felt. For you because they had a fear of the unknown. A lot of y'all been spending a lot of time in the house, much like a tourist would, a homebody. Just saw 111 on the time. Comfort, familiarity, security, belonging, and personal space. You could be in the, on the Aries Taurus cusp or dealing with a twin flame. This is very much about your security, your stability. Um, the this is giving me the four of wands, okay. This could be someone you're in community with, someone in your neighborhood, something like that, okay? Four of Wands talks about community. It talks about family. It talks about uh, um, homecoming even. I feel like somebody is missing you and wanting to come home to you. I don't know. I don't know. But this is all about people, places, and mindsets, security, stability, things like that. I feel like someone felt comfortable with you but just... They weren't comfortable with their own emotions. We have place of reminisce. Some of you could also be, I don't know, going to a, um, I'm going to say homecoming, y'all. What is it called? A family reunion. Visiting your old community, visiting your old home, family, people that you haven't talked to in a while. We have place of reminisce, nostalgia, memories, sentimental, and childhood reflection. You also could be missing a parent that may not be, um, you know, alive anymore. That could be something that's really going on for you right now. I've been thinking about my father a lot. So that, you know, that definitely resonates with me. Okay, let's get into it though. Um, Scorpio Aries is what I see so far. First card is honor. I don't know why spirit is telling you honor. Um, maybe somebody couldn't honor their word to you because of fear. We're going to get some tarot to see what that's about. What's coming towards you is face. Maybe somebody needs to face you that didn't honor their word. Someone wants to face you. Maybe they couldn't before. What's going on in your thoughts right now? You've made your parents proud. Yeah, some of you are thinking about your parent. But I do feel like someone else is reminiscing over you. Your emotions, your relationships, past or currently. We have chemistry. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Hold on a second. Okay, Taurus, let's get into this and let's see what's going on. Somebody could be short. I don't know if it's you or the person you're dealing with. Yeah. Y'all you know what I just heard? Um, Napoleon complex. Somebody can have a Napoleon complex with short and show. Like somebody's showing off because they're short. No disrespect to short people. I'm short too. Okay, let's get into honor. What's honor? We have four of swords in reverse. This is a Libra for some of you. Hmm. We have Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I'm getting a restless energy with the Four of Swords in reverse. It can talk about somebody about the burnout because they're not listening to their body. They're not listening to, you know, their own instincts and following what they should be doing here. But I always say this card makes me think somebody could be recovering from a heartbreak because the heart is outside of this woman's body. She's in a fetal position. Someone could have lost a child here. I've never gotten it from this card before, but I, I feel the need to say that with this page being here. Hmm. Okay, we're not going, we're not going to dwell on that. Um, but I feel like there's a message that someone wants to you know, reach out and give you maybe for breaking your heart. This is someone that you are not talking to. Obviously, the four of swords represents like it's it's a card of inactivity, right? Even in reverse, it can talk about someone still being withdrawn and um, not 
dealing with some things that they need to deal with. Somebody that could be a busybody doing a lot, right, to keep themselves distracted. But I feel like this is the person who doesn't want to deal with these feelings they have for you. Some kind of some kind of crush that they have on you. And they didn't honor their word to you about something. So I feel like they could want to apologize. Page of Cups can be an apology. Somebody with a fresh perspective as well. Hmm. But you got this person's head in the clouds. Okay, yeah, because I told y'all on my other channel, uh, Love on the Brain by Rihanna came out. You'd be dealing with a Pisces because that's what came out on the other channel in a short I did for you all. We have Face with Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody actually wanting to make a stable offer to you. We do have home here, stability, structure, focus. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. This is something that you really can believe in. It's the potential anyway. It's an opportunity. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. This could also be a new job, a new car, a new home. Improving health. We have the Tower. Wow. Somebody could be rebuilding after some kind of financial loss. Or this is someone who's been through a divorce or some kind of bankruptcy or something. There's a collapse, I feel like, that has taken place. And maybe this is why this person did not want to face you. But what's coming towards you is them facing you and maybe even expressing a lot of hidden emotions for you. They had intense feelings for you. It could be a Scorpio and Aries as well. January 16th could be significant. That would be what a Capricorn. Hmm. Show me you've made your parents proud. This is your thoughts right now. Okay. We have the page of pentacles and reverse. I'm just picking up. I don't know why, but I'm picking up a feeling of... Always feeling like you don't do enough. It's self-imposed. It's not anyone else. Some of you may have dropped out of school or something here with the Page of Pentacles being in reverse. Let's see what this is about. That's Taurus Virgo Capricorn. That's you. And this is a child saying you've made your parents proud. Strength. Hmm. You're very strong. You are very strong. You have a lot of um, intestinal fortitude. The original name for the strength card was fortitude. And it's about internal strength, inner strength, courage. You're a very brave person. I'm hearing brave but foolish, and this is not to insult you, but the page of pentacles in reverse is unlearned. The page of pentacles in reverse can be someone who doesn't have a lot of uh, zest for life, lacks ambition, could be somewhat of a mooch. Um, how else would I describe the page of pentacles in reverse? Um somebody just really not applying themselves and this could be the way you talk to yourself that you i feel like you have made your parents proud with the um the strength card coming out because it's leo energy and who's more proud than leo <laughs> but i just feel like there's this strength that you have that you almost deny you almost downplay your own strength here with the page of pentacles in reverse Almost feeling like you just are not living up to your potential. Because this is a very strong-willed person. This is a person who has a lot of influence over other people. Um, yeah. I don't know. A very persuasive person. I want to see more about that. Give me one more, please, Spirit. Oh, I didn't have a card. Nine of Swords. Oh. This is regret. It's like you feel like you didn't make them proud. But you but you have. This is about like trauma. Feeling traumatized. Feeling very fearful. Very insecure. This could have a lot to do with your finances. This is Gemini energy. You could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp. Let me see something here. I'm trying to make sense of this. Because Taurus, you are this page of pentacles. August the 9th could be significant. There could be a Leo involved some kind of way. That could be your parents' sign, their zodiac sign. But we went from an 8 to a 9. However, with the swords, the swords is the only, uh, well, the swords and the wands can both get worse as the numbers increase, where the ace of swords is actually a positive card. Two of swords is, eh. Three of swords is where it starts to go a little bit. Mm. <laughs> and we're all the way up to the nine. There's some kind of regret that you have that I feel like your parent wants you to release. Y'all need to go look at Pisces reading if you have Pisces placements 
or if your parent was a Pisces. I don't know because their reading had a lot to do. Wasn't it Pisces? Yeah, yeah. It had a lot to do with like a departed loved one. So this could be a, a mess. There could be a message in there for you as well. But I just kind of feel that um, some of you could regret. Maybe you regret some things you didn't say. Some of you, oh, you know what I'm hearing. Some of you regret maybe acting spoiled, entitled. Because this is actually an entitled child in reverse, okay? Um, this is a child like with learning disabilities sometimes. It could represent and so many different things that that page of pentacles in reverse can represent. I'm trying to tie it into why you would feel remorse. And this could definitely be like not feeling like you lived up to your potential here, being a bit entitled and maybe even stressing your parent out a lot. I'm going to move on. Show me chemistry in your love life. Wow, here you are, Taurus. You could be dealing with another Taurus or a Libra. Some of you could be pregnant. A pregnancy is coming in. This is facing the future. This could also be giving birth to projects, nurturing um, your endeavors, your business, whatever it might be. Just saw 11 11 on the timer. Hmm. But there could definitely be a lot of physical attraction between you and someone. A lot of um, sensual feelings. Someone is seeing you as the empress. This is someone wanting to take care of you. What is the empress here? Four of Cups. Oh. Hmm. Give me one more. Cancer energy. Someone feels like they missed an opportunity. Nine of Wands. Their guards were up. Sagittarius, Cancer, Taurus, or Libra. Somebody's guards were up. And all they're doing is like almost mesmerized. Oh, you're right. Keep dropping the cards. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. So what I'm looking at here is a person, remember we started with place of reminisce. This is a person realizing they missed this opportunity with you. Yeah, they're thinking about this missed opportunity with you. You two have fun together because the universe is like handing this, um, this cup to this person, but they're not paying attention, but they're looking at the empress. There could be somebody else trying to make a move on your person. Um, and they're not interested because all they can do is sit and reminisce and feel nostalgic over Taurus. Hmm. That's interesting. Wow. Look what we, y'all. The Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries, another Taurus, a Libra, or a Cancer. This is definitely your divine counterpart. You two are supposed to be here being prosperous. Building together there's definitely chemistry between the emperor and the empress but the emperor is not paying attention <laughs> now it could be he's lost in his thoughts here of the opportunity he missed to have this future with you yeah look at this he spent too much time procrastinating i feel like this is someone who wants to compromise and work with you then there's a lot of attraction the king of wands if you had sex with this person, it was probably amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hear Drake's song, you best I ever had. And this is a Scorpio card. Drake is a Scorpio. This person is like reminiscing, thinking about some of these other choices they made. What is, I need to see what this Ten of Pentacles is because that talks about a family. So if you were not married to them, maybe they had a family. They could have been trying to do the right thing by a family. A Libra, a Virgo. November the 10th could be significant. July the 10th, July 11th. But let's see what's going on with this Ten of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. I keep, I keep telling y'all somebody trapped in a marriage. October the 8th could be significant. Could be a Gemini. Somebody is trapped in another situation. Oh, my God. Restricted. Wanting to move forward. <laughs> Come in, Aquarius, a Scorpio, or Pisces. I'm going to leave it there because I'll keep on talking. December 20th could be significant, though. All right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.